Hey everyone, this is a train review from Fambleton and today we're going to be reviewing a Class 66 in a freight line delivery. This is the DCC Sound version as you can see. And in my, well, one of my last videos, I tested it out and all the functions except for function 9, 10 and 11 I believe because I have DCC Select Control from Hornby which does not have all the functions. Anyway, we're going to start. I've got it in the box because it's new and I decided to open it. Um, I decided to do the review like this. Careful with this. So, first, we're going to start off looking at these sheets. Well, I'm not going to go into full detail, but seriously. This is just for one train. Just the CV, the code of reset, all that stuff. And the back you've got functions, locomotive direction or lighting, all stuff here. Actually I was wrong in the last video, I said F7 were brakes, but shunting speed. So sorry about that. And I'm still not sure about how far it revs up, like when you shift it up the gear, press, pressing F5, and it, anyway, this is some guarantee how to care locomotive stuff like that, the normal backman thing, and Graham Farish, I don't know if I've said that correctly. And finally, we've got how to maintain it, and just how to move the body, and well, there you go. I'm trying to do this as quick as I can, because I've only got about 50 minutes of recording space left my camera and yeah collects club stuff that normal there also now I'm gonna just have a look at the box at the back and this is a new thing Freightliner they never normally have that on the box oh I, I don't know there's a brief history of it on Justice Train and how how it evolved and stuff like that and how it changed into a, an environmental train and how it looked like a a shed and people like railway enthusiasts call them sheds because of the way they look. Ah, boxes everywhere. See, so yeah, this is just for one train. Just, just think about it though. It's a bit over the top, but you know, I'm fine. I'm not complaining. And you've got all the special packaging. Open. Here it is. The best train I've ever had. Except I haven't really put these details on yet. I, I don't normally put them on because they normally fall off or I'm just useless at putting them on. This is a decoder. That's just for DC. So you can take out the TCC decoder and then put this one in so you can run it on the DC layout. But I'm not sure why people do that. And that's a couple of there. Just some basic stuff. Not much that out of the way. This train is extremely detailed in the way it sounds and the way it looks. It's really, really quite good. I have to say that. And well, I'm going to start off just, I'm going to start off here actually. Inside you've got a lovely tiny miniature person and extremely well well, I was going to say it was extremely detailed but I'm not really sure about it but Look at that person at the front, that's really detailed and well thought of, like Backman always does, so very good. And uh, of course there's a warning you will die sign. Why do trains have that? Okay, 66546 is the running number, I keep forgetting that. We've got the buffers, and they have not come off yet, that's good. And more warning you shall die signs. Windscreen wipers are very good. Um, let's have a look. There's a slight, there's a red strip of paint there. That's quite good. I didn't notice that. I've just learned something about the train. The livery's done extremely well here. I'm not sure if I've seen a train or not in real life, but I live in Singapore, so I can't exactly find a train here. So never mind. The couplings here are very detailed. Doesn't actually work this but it's just very good detail 
the lights here are really well done. And I found that the lights on the Class 66 is really, really bright. It's the same for my other DRS livery one, except it's not a DCC sound. And I think I should move on and have a look at this. Let's have a look over here. Mmm, that's grill. And there's some three dimensional stuff here. It's very well done. They've stood it back when I believe I spent a lot of time making this train because it's just absolutely wonderful. The freight line delivery here is so nice. Just so like I say, it's very nice. Same on this side, it's, just, it's probably, I, I would say it's kind of symmetrical, apart from the top, but, well. It's the same here on this side, except there's no person inside. So that's a, that's something that Backman's done well there. Made sure there's not two people, or no people. Okay, right, I'm going to start at, at the bottom over here, where all the good stuff is. we got that, that, some ladders. Stuff. I have no idea what they are. More warning, you will die signs, that's good. Health and safety. Um, this is where all the decoders go, I think. Yeah, correct. See, I'm trying to hold this really carefully. And yeah, that's about it really in there. There will be a part two version of this train running already, but I thought I'm going to actually have a running commentary on it. Just to show you all the functions, so it's all really easy and how how well it runs in general. Okay, so over here you've got I don't know what that is. Maybe it's an air conditioning unit. I, I don't know some stuff. Over here, this is really well done. I don't know what this is, but it looks like some kind of engine exhaust thing. But the colour of it is really good. You can't get it on the camera, but it's just. For me, it's kind of red. It's not the kind of yellowish, orangey beige on the camera. And I believe this is the speaker where all the sound of the locomotive comes out from. It's extremely well done. And I don't know what to say. It's an amazing train. I've learnt so much just from this review. This isn't that too expensive. It's not too expensive, I'd say. I got it on e Hattons for 100 and. Sixty-four pounds, but I got it for hundred and forty something because I live in Singapore and I don't have to pay VAT. Well, I didn't really do the order, but well, I had to pay hundred and forty-seven quid. It's very well, good for me, but not good for the UK people who live in the UK. Anyway, this is really good. Ten out of ten in like detailing and sound. Of course, it's got the echoes and everything, like the real train. I was really quite surprised how how well Backman made this. I thought it would be kind of like basic in terms of detail like and how it looks, but I thought the sound would be kind of dodgy, but it was really, really, really good. Horns just wake up the neighbours, like, or oh, they just get annoyed. So that's kind of something that you've got to be careful of with this train. It's very loud. You can actually turn the volume down of the using some CV stuff. I have no idea. Shouldn't really talk about that. And there will be a part two version of this running, and I'll explain about it more then, and some of the issues about it. Well, the only problem I think with this is that it's a bit too loud. That's all really. And well, maybe the wheels could have been a bit. They could have been a bit more detailed, but I, I don't know. And over here, there's a it wobbles a bit too much. So as it runs on the layout, I'll show I'll show you guys in um, the part two of this. It, it sort of derails. I'll explain about that later. So thank you for watching this. I will see you in the next well, video, obviously. So it probably be it might not be a layout update. It could be something else like part 2 version of this. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching this video, I really appreciate a thumbs up. I try really hard to make these videos, as I have some work, of course. So thank you for watching this video. I'll be making more videos, of course, and subscribe.